As when male yang and female yin combine, all things achieve harmony. So baby, can I hear your music? Can I hear your melody? Can I hear your harmony? Can I hear all the acoustic things that is a key to life? Can I hear everything to keep me alive as well as yourself as we continue our melody, which is a communication, sending off a positive vibration? I like that. Hide the yes. frequency. Yes. He said, baby, can you hear it? Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Yes. When the master and the feminine combine, there is harmony. You notice in the lava lamp, it doesn't, even though it combines and separates, it still has its own rhythm and it adjusts to what's being presented to it. Yes, ma'am. It shifts. One thing is not always the power of the other. There's a fine balance that's taking place. And yes. Like the lava lamp, that brings me, that's what inspires me. Two different weights, two different elements that are fluid with each other. There's a balance taking place. I like that. Um, I also notice about the lava lamp is that when you notice when the two come together and they combine, they produce. Once they come together, it's always something that kicks off from it. They produce something else. So to me, that's true intimacy when it's the coming together and the production of. Because people can come together. But if you're not producing anything from your togetherness, is it really intimacy? Piggyback up to that, that means that if you are producing it as one and you're not really orgasmic with each other, you're not going to have an orgasm. That yes. Totally uh -huh. different Ooh, yeah. than just being together uh -huh. one, one way or another. You could be together, but you could be non-orgasmic. Yeah. So if you're not, uh -huh. if you're not in tune uh -huh. with yourself and with your man and he don't feel you and you don't feel him, you might find that there are men that fake orgasms. But we don't want to talk about that, though, do we? Yeah. We talk about the ladies, but we don't talk about the men that fake. Mm -hmm. They do, real talk. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you got to realize that you have to have an orgasm within you to bring a part of orgasm within both of you. And so when you form as one, and you both form, and it is a beauty in it, then the orgasm comes to play. But that's all the whole, the whole dynamic comes from the whole intimacy together. This comes back to what Brother Shiva had said a moment ago about we can fuck, but, but, so combining the two, it's like. <laughs> it's a good, and, and, and orgasm, Do we understand? I, I'm zipping my pants and have orgasm right now. Right. You know, but because of the orgasm is a physical thing. Mm. It's just a reflex of the body. All right. That's what an orgasm is. You know, and I wrap that. Now about the lava lamp, I'm going to tell you one more time. The lava lamp didn't even really become that interesting until it got hot. Mm. And, and, hey. and, and, it, <laughs> and it started. And it started. Now check out what it did. It started all of that cool shit that you just mentioned mm. within itself first. Mm. I done told you it started shit. with you. Right. Yes. I done told you. And then after it started and you saw all that balance and harmony floating within itself, within that lava lamp, you were like, oh, the lava lamp is balanced with it. Mm. It's, not, it's not a silver war going on within it. It's flowing within itself. Mm. And then that shit flowed out and got intimate with all of us. I'm telling you, this will start with you. All right.